COVID. Um, yesterday, we started talking about um, why is it important for us to come together like this, um, that there are few reasons why uh, we want to pray. You make use of this opportunity, these 19 days, to pray together. One is, of course, to pray and grow closer to God. And the other one is, of course, to fight against the pandemic that is um, uh, causing so much of uh, panic and fear in the hearts of people and of course it is uh, not just it is it is a real disease it is affecting the lives of people so that's one of the reason why we we are uh, praying together and um, uh, of course we are also using this opportunity to pray uh, for our own families and um, um, our own uh, needs bring them to Christ um, so hey take this time uh, to make sure that either on Facebook and if YouTube is up right now, hopefully it is up. If it is not, just wait for a few more minutes. Um, um, on YouTube comment section, just uh, put up your prayer requests or anything that you want us to pray for uh, today, both on Facebook and YouTube. Just keep that um, in your mind while, um, um, you know, while the devotion is happening, you can actually do that uh, during that during that period. Um, make use of that opportunity. Um, this yesterday, I was talking to you about how um, you know Paul encourages us um, in his book, writing from um, the prison in his chains. He talks about um, you know devoting ourselves um, to to prayer and thanksgiving, devoting ourselves uh, to to the pursuit of of the gospel and asking God to open doors uh, for new opportunities to preach the gospel and um, new ways of preaching gospel and um, he also encourages us to live our lives um, in such a way that we would become models to those who are our neighbors. So I challenged you yesterday um, uh, from that passage in Colossians that um, it w this is a great opportunity that God gave us uh, first of all to develop in relationship with him. Um, second of all, um, to seek for new ways of communicating the gospel. We use this opportunity, gadgets and technology that we have right now in our hands in order to reach to as many as uh, people as possible in creative ways. If, uh, um, you know, if, it is, um, if it is possible for us, come up with a creative ways of um, reaching out to people. And that's what I challenged you to do uh, yesterday. Um, and also I challenged you that use this opportunity to connect with people who are your uh, um, you know, neighbors and friends and colleagues to talk about Jesus and um, find uh, an opportunity, use this opportunity to uh, develop relationships in order for, um, for us to um, take the gospel to people who have not yet heard the gospel. So um, that's what we learned from yesterday and today from... Um, um, I want to talk, continue on the thought of the same, um, um, you know, same um, uh, topic on prayer, but in Jesus' words, just to teach us on how we form this habit. Um, simple things to remember in order to make this a habit of, um, of um, you know, a habit that we would continue to do all through our lives. In um, the book of Luke, um, the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter eleven, you would see. Um, his disciples, Jesus' disciples, coming to Jesus and talking to him and asking him to teach them to pray. Let's just look at that passage. It's a beautiful passage. Few verses. I'm going to read verses 1 to 13 uh, and just do a simple exposition of that passage and uh, teach us on uh, what is the how of prayer. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying, as he finished, one of his disciples came to him and said, um, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. Jesus said, this is how you should pray. Father, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. Give us each day the food we need and forgiveness, forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Um, and don't let us yield to temptation. Then, the, then teaching them more about prayer, now this is very important, more about prayer, he used this story. Suppose you went to a friend's house at midnight, wanting to borrow three loaves of bread. You say to him, a friend of mine has just arrived for a visit and I have nothing for him to eat. And suppose he calls out 
from his bedroom don't bother me the door is locked for the night and my family and i are uh, i are all in bed i can't help you but i tell you this though he won't do it for friendship sake if you keep knocking long enough he will get up and give you whatever you need because you uh, because of your persistence uh, in fact uh, an nlt uses another word in fact your shameless persistence remember that and so i tell you keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for keep on seeking and you will find keep on knocking and the door will be opened to you for everyone who asks receives everyone who seeks finds and to everyone who knocks the door will be opened your fathers you you fathers if your children ask for a fish do you give them a snake instead or if you ask them for a egg do you give them a, 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 a scorpion of course not so if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will the heavenly father give you the holy spirit to those who ask him what a phenomenal passage on prayer um these 13 verses have so much to teach to us on prayer um we can look at it in three parts and i just want to take this uh next 15 minutes to explain that to you uh the the very very good place to start learning um on how to pray and about prayer is to of course come to god and say god teach us to pray and that's what uh disciples did in forming our habit of prayer that's a good place to start asking god can you teach us how to pray the disciples saw jesus praying privately and they heard him uh praying publicly and they asked him to teach them teach them to do the same they saw jesus praying they walked up to jesus and they said can you can you teach us um this this would have been a, a common thing between a teacher and disciple in the context of that time prayer was an opportunity for for teachers to express their theology that was the time um, you know um, they would use that opportunity to help disciples to grow stronger in their work um especially what they believed about god and his kingdom they could impart that wisdom to his disciples when the disciples come and sit with them during the prayer time so jesus response um, in what we call right now the lord's prayer um is um it's not just a model of posture or an order um um, um but it is jesus teaching his disciples um what he knows to be true uh, about who god is and how god's kingdom works so how does jesus teach his disciples to pray i want to um divide this passage into three parts okay just uh, pay attention to me the first part of course is what we call the lord's prayer and um, in the lord's prayer itself you would see um at least um six things about how do you pray you know uh, number 1 with adoration because god is worthy of all honor and praise we pray with adoration Fa- father hallowed be thy name father hallowed be your name um you recognize who god is and then you re- you worship his name then not just with uh, adoration but also with expectancy when you pray you pray with expectancy um because the kingdom of god is near it is uh, as near as your next breath your you know you know some of us now can actually sense that with all the things that are happening across this world uh you could see every word in the scripture is actually coming uh, to fulfillment and the you know it's, it's it is really funny this morning i got up um and i started thinking how am i not afraid of anything it's a uh, only a christian can get up in the morning with absolute peace absolute confidence only a person who has faith in christ can get up in the morning and say well no, no matter what happens tomorrow i don't mind because if christ comes i'm just going to be with him you know what a confidence it is for us right um, and that is um, is our our expectancy his kingdom is coming 
and we're waiting for it. Um, over the next few days, in fact, uh, we're going to talk about that and I'll, I'll, get, I'll talk about that a little towards the end of the video. But just think about this, your kingdom come with expectancy, uh, your kingdom come. Number, number three, with dependency. Because we are not in control. Nothing in our life is in control. You can, you know now, over the last few days, everything that you thought was under your control has just simply been taken away from you. Everything. None of us can get out of our home without, you know, without actually getting a permission, um, uh, you know, and you know, we are now totally, absolutely, everything about our life has now been taken away, all the control that we thought we had. Because we are not in control. Everything we are, everything we have is a gift from God. Even now, this opportunity to do this is a gift from God. And so you say, give us this day our daily bread. It's not just about our food. It's about, God, I understand even for the smallest thing in my life, I have to depend on you. Um, so uh, give us this day our daily bread. Number four, with humility. You pray with humility. Because we are all in need. We all need to be saved. That's why Jesus taught us to pray a prayer that teaches us to be humble. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. With humility. We are in dire need of being saved. And the only person who can save us is God. And so we go to God in humility. Um, number six, with faith, with faith, because God is good and wants us to lead, wants to lead us into his blessing, not harm. What is happening around us right now may look like it's, it's harmful. It's, it is harmful. It is, mm, you may feel that it is going to destroy your life and your family, the well carefully built up nice nice little home that you have right now, it may be affected. That's what you think. But I want you to know you're protected. You're safe. And out of this difficulty, God will always bring good to us. His blessing to us with faith. That's why he said, lead us not. he taught us, lead us not into temptation. Pray that prayer that God, while we are facing the temptation, that we will not be tempted to give in, but we will hold on to you by faith, with faith, pray that prayer. You see, as you look at them with adoration, with expectancy, with dependency, with humility, with faith, as you look at those principles, you this is what you realize. The, it is not about how of the prayer, it's, uh, it's about getting to know who of the prayer. As you pray, you are getting to know more about God, who your God is. Uh, what can you expect of this God? How much can you depend on there? How much trust can you know you, you need to have in God in this God? Uh, how faithful he is, how forgiving he is, and most importantly, how good he is. You would learn this. Jesus is teaching us um, this uh, through this prayer. Jesus taught his disciples how to pray, but he also wanted them to know who we are praying to. The how of prayer isn't about, isn't saying the right words in the right order. It is a relationship. Prayer is a relationship. That's what we talked yesterday. And Jesus' whole ministry revolved around, revolved around telling people good news about who his father is and that his kingdom is here. That's what the Lord's Prayer teaches us. Hey, remember who your God is. And if you can remember who your God is, then the next illustration in that passage teaches us how do we pursue him. He talks about a friend who went to another friend in a village in the middle of the night, asking him, can I have some place to stay and eat food to eat? And Jesus says, suppose if that friend of yours is not getting up from his bed and is saying, hey, I'm sleepy, I don't have anything, get out. Um... um but if you stand there and continue to knock on the door persistently and ask him, can you give this to me? Don't you think at some point that friend of yours will get fed up with this and get up and come and open the door and give the food to you? So he talked about persistence there. He says, 
even if your friend rejects you your own friend if if it is not a stranger even if you know even if he is your friend and if he says go away but you still stand and keep knocking at some point he has to get up and come and open the door imagine this if you have a father who is willing to say i want to do all good things to you but if you talk to me and pray with me uh jesus then goes on say if you persistently keep knocking shamelessly keep knocking don't you think he will do that for you don't you think he will give what you are seeking no, what, he will help you to find what you are seeking for looking for uh, he will give you what you are asking for he will open the door that is closed um, the door that you wanted to open don't you think he would do that uh, that's what jesus says persistently keep knocking prayer is about persistence prayer is about remembering who your god is prayer is about persistence and third one prayer is about um uh, recognizing the goodness of god um recognizing the justice of god uh, if you see the last passage of that uh, uh, of uh, the last part of that passage talks about talks to fathers addressing the fathers hey now that i told you he is your father Uh, and i also told you you can go to him persistently and seek for what you want but i want you to know this when he gives you something don't you think it will be better than you know, what even an earthly father gives if you as a father a sinful person you are if your son comes to you or daughter comes to you and asks you for food would you give them rocks or would you give them scorpions you won't you know how to take care of your children now as a heavenly father as a good 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 father don't you think i know how to take care of you and how to give you the best best out of this situation best out of this condition i am a i'm 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 not only a god i'm your father and a father who knows how to do good to you for you on behalf of you so i pray that today when you pray and we pray together for whatever needs that people are going to ask for i pray that you would persistently seek don't stop just with today don't stop with tomorrow don't stop with five days now continue to persistently seek uh, let's fight persistently together yesterday i told you uh, prayer is devoting ourselves to a persist per, uh, to a on a singular pers- per- pursuit and that's what we're going to do let's consistently pursue uh, shamelessly pursue um persistently um in in our prayer to god and asking god to act on our behalf and fight on our behalf so just uh, uh, let's take this moment to ask god to help us with this um uh, you know during this season uh, of um of staying alone um at home let's use make this make use of this opportunity to pray together and seek god um to to um you know to answer our prayers open doors that are closed and teach us um the necessary things that we need to learn all right so take this moment to let's take this moment to start praying i'm waiting for a uh, few prayer requests i know the youtube is not up uh, but at least if on facebook if you can put up your prayer requests i would uh, really appreciate that and we will pray together of course we know that we already have one or two prayer requests coming from people who asked us to pray for their colleagues uh, in fact one of our church members uh, whose colleague is actually tested positive for corona we're going to pray for her um and if there are any other prayer requests that you have would you just put it up on facebook um our facebook page so that we can pray together at this time we will of course pray for uh, in our nation pray for um i'm um, hopefully we are going to uh, wait for a few more minutes um to listen to our prime minister giving us a talk and we would probably have um you know um, something to hear from our prime minister um hopefully god would um you know god is giving our leaders wisdom enough to to um, you know to lead our country in this crisis um so i'm not sure if the youtube is up it's not up um we are really sorry we did our best to get everything online and just couldn't do it um so if you are on facebook um just put it up on um facebook page and we'll pray together um yesterday we prayed for sister sarita who was not well 
Um, I, I saw a testimony here that praise be to God, Sister Sarita is getting, getting better today. Let's continue to pray for her complete um, healing. Uh, by the way, if your video is struck, just uh, refresh it. Hopefully, it will get refreshed and <laughs> restart um, again. Um, so, I'm still looking for any prayer requests. Any other prayer requests on that? All right, so, um, so um, we right now seem to have just two, uh, two prayer requests. Let's take this moment to pray right now together um, to our Lord. Father, we thank you, God, for this opportunity to pray together like this as a church. We are... Um, pleading at your feet right now for our nation, God. We not just our nation, but nations across the world that are um, affected by um, this um, this virus that um, that is causing fear and, of course, causing death of so many people across the world. And many nations are suffering. Uh, especially Italy is is going through a very rough time, but. We understand that you are in control, still in control of everything, God. Um, situation may seem out of our hands um, or may be getting out of our hands. But what we know is that you are true sovereign God of this world and that you are still in control of everything in this world. And we know that our lives, um, our families, our country, our economy, um, everything is under your control. We believe that God, by faith, we declare your protection over uh, the satanic attack against our world. We know that you would have allowed this particular pandemic at this point of time um, to draw people to you, God. Um, we know that God, that you use even the worst of the situations to, uh, to work, to answer the existential questions of human heart, especially um, the sin that human beings carry which brought all these diseases all wars and destruction into this world we know that god that um, that this time this is this is um, um, a time that you would use um, uh, to bring people to the saving knowledge of jesus christ but at the same time we also know that you are a good god that irrespective of who um, um, uh, this person is uh, or anyone who is suffering with, with this disease, irrespective of whether they are a Christian or not a Christian, you are still their God. You are still their father. We know that you would still show kindness. You will still show your grace upon these people, bringing healing into their bodies. We know that God nations are, are under your control. Leaders are under your control. We thank you, God, for so far you've been You've been, you've been a God who is protecting our country. We pray for uh, Sveta Dal who is infected with Corona. We pray that God that you would bring healing into our body. Anyone who she's got in touch with, I pray that they would all be protected from this uh, infection of Corona. I pray that you would bring complete healing to our body. The doctors across India, across the world are serving doctors, nurses, and medical personnel who are serving so faithfully. God, we pray that your protection would be on them them give them wisdom in helping these people to recover god we pray we thank you god for joanna we thank you for uh, helping her to have a healthy boy uh, joanna and sam we thank you for um, you know your protection over their lives uh, last night you gave them a wonderful healthy boy we praise you god for that we thank you god for um, for um, um, uh, for for your grace upon our lives we especially pray um, that um, for Sister Palachi's mother who is hospitalized, who is in ICU now. But you are in control, God. You are a God who is working in our life. You, we pray that even though they, they are, they are, 
uh, they are um, alone and old there, I pray that your protection would be upon that. We pray that God, that uh, your, uh, we especially pray for um, every um, grandmother, grandfather, every parent who who is uh, who is um, um, who who has um, uh, you know who are elderly. We pray especially your protection upon their lives that this this virus would not harm them. That God, that you would protect them during this time. We pray for all the parents and grandparents of our church members. We pray that you would. Um, you would take control of their their lives and their bodies. We thank you, God. We especially pray for Auntie Prasanna. We pray that even though she she has a uh, um, you know stomach upset, uh, a discomfort, I pray that you would uh, uh, bring complete healing to her. And um, I pray that God that she would uh, be restored in her health. We thank you, Jesus. We pray for church volunteers um, of of Capstone and every other church that are working behind the scenes in order to make sure online services are possible. May you protect them from this virus. May you protect them, God, in their coming and going, in their arrangements. I pray that, God, you would grant them wisdom and your protection. We pray for um, Sister Priya, who is asking, who is asking you so that uh, you know to 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 pray for that for her spiritual growth. I pray that, God, that during this period, uh, she would have an opportunity to get to know you. Not just her, God, anyone who is seeking to grow spiritually. I pray that, God, that you would grant them open doors for them um, uh, for, to learn the scriptures. Give them interest in the word of God so that they may spend, dwell in the word of God and learn from the scriptures uh, to grow closer to you. And God, Holy Spirit, I pray that you would illuminate their minds to understand the scriptures, understand your heart so that their hearts may, may also be enriched uh, by the power of your word. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for... Um, um, for you know, um, um, Sister Sri Devi, I pray that God that um, we, um, uh, for her medical condition at this point of time, I pray that you would stretch your hand and bring healing to her back and neck pain. Um, she's already been on a leave for a long time. I pray that God that even though even 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 as she needs to report back to her work um, within the next one month or within the next ten days, I pray that God your your you stretch your hand and br bring healing uh, to her body. Thank you, Jesus, uh, for all those who have asked us to pray together for them. I pray uh, for those who asked, for those who could not. Um, we, we pray that, God, that um, whatever needs that people have at this point of time, you would provide their needs. People who are struggling with finances, I pray that you would grant them the finances that they need. People who require wisdom in order to make decisions, I pray that you would grant them um, wisdom in order to make right decisions. I want to thank you, God, for so many government officials, police, um, medical personnel, bureaucrats who are across, the, across our country serving um, uh, to, in order to make sure our country is safe. And I pray that God that uh, you would grant them uh, your protection and peace and covering over their lives. We believe that God you are good. We believe that you are still in control. We believe that you are a God of, of power, God of might. We believe that God, no weapons formed against us shall prosper. But God, that your power would be displayed through all this pandemic, God, across our country. Use uh, Christians across the country to stand up faithfully and pray for our nation, God. We love India, God. We thank you for our country. We pray that all Indians would be protected, not just India. God for our neighboring nations all the nations across the world we pray that God your protection would be upon their lives and God that your you your, your grant peace in the hearts of people may the peace that we have that comes from Christ may spread like wildfire into the hearts of people who are who are who are fearful and, and are worried we thank you God that only you can give us that peace and thank you for that. This evening we come together as your church, as your body, and we pray together and ask you, God, that you would, you would, uh, um, uh, you would continue to give us this privilege to meet together like this and pray together. We pray, we we can't, we pray for Sister Angelina's uh, neighbor in in our society who was um, suspected of Corona. Um, we pray that he would uh, uh, recover, and God, nobody in that area would be affected. Uh, because of that uh, that virus. Thank you, Jesus, once again for this evening. Thank you for everyone who joined us online on Facebook. Uh, we we prayed. We pray. We thank you, God, for this privilege that you gave us in order for us to 
connect like this on 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 this platform help us to um, help us to continue to do so we pray for the internet services across our country uh, we pray that god that you would help us to have uninterrupted internet in, internet services so that um, you know we can connect like this and have an opportunity to to pray together to learn together to grow together we pray for computers that need to work make this work possible i pray that god that you would take control of the instruments that that needs to serve these are your instruments god and i pray that you would make them work uh, right now so that um, we we will be able to communicate and pray together and 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 grow together this is this this uh, we, we have this is the only medium we have god to the only tool we have in order uh, for us to connect i pray that god that you would your protection your anointing would be on these instruments uh, we pray that everything would work properly smoothly um, so that we will not have any trouble communicating and connecting together and worshiping and praying together we thank you once again um, for this evening and for for this privilege we pray that god that you would uh, um, give us more opportunities more time over the next few days uh, 19 days as we continue to develop this uh, opportunity use this opportunity to develop a relationship with you together as a family and grow together as a church we pray that you would um, um, you would continue to help us to do this thank you for everyone who joined as we bless you god increase this number of people who would join so that more people would would be united in prayer and in a heart uh, to pray together we thank you we bless you bless you jesus in jesus name we pray amen 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 thank you for joining us um uh, today once again um we we are um unfortunately we couldn't get online on youtube uh for some reason we pray um, well, let's hope that we'll get it right tomorrow um hey listen we we are working out how best can we serve as a church to you as your pastors if you're a capstonian and um, if you want to make use of this opportunity that while you're at home we are coming up with a program called in depth um it's a it's an online teaching program we will connect together we will you know we will uh, um learn together we are offering three courses to you uh, in depth is um basically a program designed for you uh, for us to learn together the you know a little more in depth from the scriptures from the things that we need to know we we'll learn as a christian regarding our practical lives or anything so we are going to offer three uh, specific prayer points uh, sorry course points courses that uh, during this uh, this this uh, period um if i'm hopefully it'll come on to your comment section in a moment um just click on that link go to um uh, go to the form just fill it up we have uh, we're going to talk about basics of bible um so if you're a new believer if you want to know more about christ more about what does bible teach about certain topics um b- basic doctrines of the bible um that would be the course you want to be part of um so you can you can join on that and we will you know inform you how and what time are we going to do that uh, also we're going to talk about, we're going to do an offer another series another course called um, disciplines of a disciple if you are already a christian you have some background um, some understanding of the scriptures but you want to grow as a disciple of christ uh, we want to offer that program the disciplines of a disciple which um, would help you to uh, develop certain spiritual disciplines that would make you a sharper christian much more effective christian in your not just uh, in your um, to the outside world but even inside your heart that you would grow much more stronger um, also we're going to offer another um, if if you if you're a leader if you're in a position of leadership if you are in a place of influence not necessarily a position but a place of influence over other people um, but you want you want to know what would be the right way to lead people we want to offer a program called um the principles of christian leadership so these are the three topics uh, you can pick up any of the topics and we will get back to you and talk about what times are we doing these classes um hopefully we will try and do it in with 